You know, when you were little, you might have gotten in a fight in the schoolyard. Then you ran home and you were uh, bloody and you were obviously beaten up. And then mama and daddy held you and, and comforted you and cleaned you up and made everything better. We sometimes remember those childhood fights, but the worst fights where we have been beaten up the worst is what we do to ourselves. We beat ourselves up. We don't forgive ourselves. We, we never let ourselves off the hook. And we continually put ourselves down. And when we do this, we cause lasting damage that just should not be. When someone you know does his or her best in a situation, in a difficult situation, we don't condemn them for not doing more. Even if they didn't do the best that they could have, even close to the best, we don't condemn them. But sometimes, wow, we harbor unwarranted feelings of guilt and self-condemnation over something that we haven't done to the best possible ways that we could have done it. We relive some experience over and over again in our mind, beating ourselves up every time. Our reason may tell us that we did the best that we could at the time, but we still have that nagging feeling that somehow we've fallen short and we just will just think that we will feel better by beating ourselves up again. But we have no one this time to run home to, no one to clean up our boo-boos, no one to to hug us and comfort us except ourselves and we turn our back to ourselves. Jacob, when in the Bible, wrestling with the angel, said, I won't let you go until you bless me. <sighs> That's a powerful thing. To overcome feelings of guilt and self-condemnation, we need to ask for, and here's the big one, accept the blessing of forgiveness. We go to God, and God hugs us, God cleans us up, God makes us feel better than any human could ever make us feel, because God is love, and God is forgiveness, and God is with us, within us, bringing us peace of mind. And with God's help, we'll be able to see how difficult and unhappy experiences can be a part of our growth. Instead of a beating up, we'll receive a success guidance by thinking about what we did and with God's guidance, how we could do it better next time as God comes through us and empowers us for a next time. And now we're able to accept ourselves where we are. And we are able to accept the blessing of love from God, the blessing of forgiveness. And we're able to give ourselves that blessing by stopping the attack. I pray today that you stop the attack, and I pray that you no longer have battles inside of yourself.